Hey, what's going on everyone? This is JB Eli here today and I'm making this quick video because I wanted to help you guys out. I feel like there's not enough videos on how to show you how to put use ROM hacks and I, I, I think randomizer is pretty simple. You know, you usually use very randomizer at the website, but for ROM hacks, I feel like it's not easy for newcomers to play the ROM hacks. So I'm about to show you guys what's up. So first, the link will be in the description. You go to you go to Metro Construction. You download this Smile 2.5. This is the latest one. So you download this, and then what you're gonna want to do is go to Metro Construction again. Go to Hacks. All right, I'll just open another window just so it's easy for you guys to follow. You're gonna find a hack, whatever hack you want. For me, I'm gonna have uh, Super Metro Kaizo, possible, because this is what I'm about to do on the channel. Then you download, let's say, whatever you want, but I'm gonna download this. Where is it? Where's the link? You press this download, boom. Okay, got it. <clears throat> so then we would open Smile. So let's cut the Smile. Right here, Smile with the Metroid. You open this, this bad boy up. Now it's going to ask you for a ROM. So you're going to put the original Super Metroid ROM. So then you're going to want this Super Metroid. That should say Super Metroid and JU. I think you need this format for it to work. So for the ROM hacks. Open this up. You're going to have the app. It's going to, let's put full screen so it's easier to understand. Oh, okay. Well, you see right here saying, click me, click me. You click this, open any room. It doesn't matter what room. It could be anything. So it's uh, loading up a random room. It could be any room. It doesn't matter. You can open this room. Let's do this for example so it's easier. So once you're here in this room, what you're going to do is go to Tools, IPS, and apply a patch. And now that ROM hack you just downloaded, whatever it is, apply it. So for me, I just downloaded the, the Kaizo. So now I'm going to apply Kaizo. See right here for me, the Supermetric Kaizo Possible 101 IPS. I press open, boom, it says ROM, pa ROM patch, as he changes, open a new room. And now when I open a new room, I'm like, oh shit, that's definitely not the original Super Metroid, that's not vanilla, that's the ROM hack, so now it's worked. So now all you gotta do now is go to your Super NES player and load the ROM. Hey look, now the ROM's working. Well, Whoa, what the hell? Oh shit, I did not know it was this scary. Why the fuck? Okay, anyway. As you probably know, this is not the original Super Metroid. But a ROM hack created using a level editor. If you are actually going them to beat this, you'll probably just end up getting angry. So yeah, this is... Not all ROM hacks are this intimidating, but this one is because it's super hard and whatever. But yeah, now you know this should work, and that's how you install a ROM hack. Hopefully that was easy to follow, and that's all you guys really need. Hopefully it was simple. If you have any questions, I'll answer in the comments. Do like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.